Hey there, techministry.blog here to show you a new project I've been working on. So you may recall a couple years ago, I posted uh, about a project where we uh, were sharing ProPresenter lyrics to uh, multiple clients in their web browser on their mobile phones or tablets in real time using the ProPresenter web socket I, uh, uh, API library. Uh, as well as uh, sending that data to an Amazon Elastic Cloud computer where people could view the lyrics in real time. So in order to do that with uh, the existing version, you actually had to keep a Chrome window open all the time that followed along as uh, the ProPresenter went along. And that worked great, uh, but I decided to turn this into an Electron app that runs in the system tray that can have a little bit more system access features. So let me show you how that works. So I've got ProPresenter running here, and I've gone into Preferences, Network, and I've configured uh, it to run on my network at this port, and I've got the passwords set so that I can control it. And I'm running it up here as an app. So you can see here up in the system tray, it's showing that it's connected to my ProPresenter instance, and it's actually also connected to my presentation bridge cloud server that's running up on Amazon. And so let me open the settings window. So you can see this here when it launches, it actually will detect uh, various ProPresenter instances that may be on your network. And if they're not detected, you can of course type it in manually. Uh, I'm already connected to my local ProPresenter here, and you can see it's actually already showing uh, my current slide and next slide, which my current slide is blank. My next slide is a bit of copyright text for this particular song. Uh, and it's already connected to my presentation bridge server, which is running here. This is my bridge ID and password that I've configured it to run. Now, this is all great. What it does is it runs as I click through the various slides. So let's say I'm on this slide here and I go back to my settings window. It shows me that's the current slide and you can even see it in the browser. Um, it will show that text here as we run ProPresenter. So um, let's see if I can get this to be on the same screen at the same time. There, so as I click through each slide, you'll see it show up in real time in the browser. You could do this from anywhere in the world. So the idea behind this was, let's say you're having an outdoor uh, worship as a lot of us are doing right now in the midst of a global pandemic where a lot of us are doing outside church. So this is a way to have lyrics on people's phones without having to print things, pass things out. Uh, and it does it all through the cloud. So uh, it's doing that here in the client. But another feature that the Presentation Bridge client can do is it supports several slide notations that you can use to send out things like MIDI messages or HTTP requests or even specifically press buttons in Companion if you're using BitFocus Companion. So if I click here on Help, you'll see all these different uh, notations that it supports. Uh, it supports all of the MIDI voice messages if you're using MIDI Relay to send those messages, um, as well as um, a short code for a Chroma Q Vista, which is our lighting console here. It's just a shorter way to maybe specify exactly using MIDI Show Control. Uh, to control that board, HTTP requests, and of course, companion button presses. So let's show you how that works. So if I come in here to ProPresenter and I click on a slide, and I'm gonna choose to edit that. If I look down here in the slide notes, you can see I've got some notation here. Uh, and this is specific notation to Presentation Bridge Client. Uh, my first one is Vista. So I've typed Vista colon, and then one comma one. And what that says, is it's going to send a MIDI relay message to our Vista console to run Q1 on QList1. Uh, and then I have a semicolon, and then I'm gonna run a companion button. I'm gonna say, I wanna press button two on page one. And so if you look here in Presentation Bridge Client, uh, down here on the left, I've configured my Chroma Q Vista to be this IP address and port, and this is my specific MIDI port. Uh, that it's going to send that message to. Um, and this is using MIDI Relay, which is another one of my projects if you haven't heard of it. Uh, MIDI Relay is a way to send uh, or really relay MIDI messages across subnets or VLANs or even across the cloud 
uh, by sending HTTP requests with specially formatted JSON messages. And then the MIDI relay server running on the remote end will then actually send out that MIDI voice message across the MIDI port that you've specified. Uh, so there's a companion module for that if you ever want to use it, but uh, we've integrated it here with Chroma Q Vista on Presentation Bridge Client. And then down here, I've actually configured my companion button press. It's going to use the uh, local IP of my machine. That's where I'm running companion right now. So I've typed those in here. So now if I were to want to run that, let's say I'm clicking here, running through ProPresenter, I can see my current slide, next slide, Obviously that moves up when I go to the next slide. And now I can see here my next slide is going to say Vista and Companion Button. So it wants to run QList1, Q1, and then it's going to say Companion Button is Bank1, Button2. So if you look here, I'll just show you how that works. In uh, Companion, I've got two buttons here, uh, 1.2 and 1.3. So 1.2, all it does when you press it, it just makes 1.3 go green. Pretty simple effect, uh, but I just did that to test this for you to show you how it would work. So uh, whenever I, this button gets pressed, either through the interface or in our case, in the presentation bridge client is gonna send a TCP message to this companion instance to press that button. We'll see button 1.3 go green. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna move this again over here to the side so you can see it. Now, when I click this next slide, it's going to want to run those notations. And you can see it, it's again, prepared to run Vista Q1 on QList1 and Companion Button 2 on Bank 1. So when I click that, the button goes green because it actually ran that as a trigger. So this is a very helpful tool to automate anything that you might need to do where you only have one uh, operator running ProPresenter, but you want them to control your lights that might be on a different VLAN, or you want to trigger a video to play anytime a certain slide is clicked, or you want to send really any kind of HTTP request that could be used to control Planning Center Online Live, for example, or you want to do a control on your video switcher to queue up this graphic or get ready to turn on some light or uh, set something to roll clip or whatever it is you want to do on your switcher. Um, you can do it through the, either an HTTP request if your switcher supports it, or you know you can just make a companion button that does the exact thing you want, and then you can have Presentation Bridge Client press that button virtually. So we designed this for us because we'll be using this when we roll it out to have ProPresenter control our Chroma Q Vista lights automatically over the network. And the advantage for us is rather than just sending raw MIDI inside ProPresenter, which it can easily do, Chroma Q Vista needs what they call MIDI show control, MIDI messages. And we do, uh, we can send that through MIDI relay, whereas ProPresenter cannot send MIDI show control messages. And that allows us to target specific queues or sub queues in a queue list rather than simply sending a node on, uh, which in Chroma Q Vista only advances queue lists. So this allows us to be very specific. So if I had to look for verse one, and then I had to look for the chorus, and then I had uh, them suddenly jump back to verse one, for example, um, I can have uh, different looks for all those different queues and have the slides run those uh, automatically for me. So of course, I can always turn that off here in the settings. I can say turn off commands. I can turn off sending lyrics to the cloud if I want. I can go to the logo in my cloud server if I need to. Uh, and I can open the settings window at any time and just make sure everything is good and that it's connected and showing me the data that I want to see. So this is the new presentation bridge client. I am looking for people who want to beta test this for me. So I will eventually release this like I do all of my projects as open source, but right now uh, it's just in a closed trial period. So if you are interested in checking it out, reach out to me through the techministry.blog contact form, and we will set something up to try to get you testing this. I wanna get a little bit more feedback before we roll this out to other users. So that's it, that's the new project, go check it out.